because they've played before. You see players, and when you see players in your region, you start to understand what you have going into it. And on a stage like a Battlefield, uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, wait, great SDI up right to the platform. Pikachu can cover that, but Mouse Rat was not ready for it. Yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's just got to be something that you, uh, you're you prepared for. So, all right, now, Mouse Rat with, or had Gyro in hand, rather, so not able to make too much use of it just yet. And a great air dodge from Dill, making sure, you know, not getting too much punishment, but with the uh, Pikachu's great combo game, definitely going to be huge in this matchup against, you know, the big body that is Rob. You don't want to know something fun? What's up? Uh, as we see Mouse Rat set up on that trap. Um, Pikachu's item throw sucks. Absolutely awful. So, really? So it's extremely slow is one of the things. Like, Pikachu, like, puts the item in his mouth and, like, rears back to throw it. <laughs> Why didn't that hit? Um, right? <laughs> the... the but the fun thing about that is that Dill can more reliably be more reckless with Gyro and not exactly fear any like crazy Gyro combo. Because it's just kind of like, oh, I get hit by Gyro. That sucks. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, back to business. Yeah, we're like, we're moving on. <laughs> Instead, we got a ledge trap going. Another hard rip. Looking for the arm rotor read. Uh, off of an early ledge get up, but Mouse Rat taking their time and punishing accordingly. Unable to take the stock from it, but it's that level of patience that displayed with Pikachu of all characters can be extremely devastating for Ooh. any, if you rush absolutely anything. Which both of these two are just looking for this stock right now. Holy. Absolutely. Using the Nair to catch Mouse Rat coming out from ledge and a great quick attack angle, just barely getting on the edge of that platform. In the up throw, not going to be able to find anything out of it at that percent, but the forward air catching Dill off stage, putting Mouse right now in a stock lead. Yeah, and a big one as well as more and more of these Slender Jolts come out from ledge. Ledge play from Pika, extremely devastating. Getting the rising Nair and strong hit Nair comboing into that forward air. I know more Pikachus have been experimenting with the final hit of neutral air to try and set up into combos in mid air. Ooh which at low percent can be pretty good, especially given it's Rob and already stacking up 52% here. Mouse Rat in a perfect position for what they want to be in. Absolutely. All right, continuing to use the t jolt to really try and control this space right now. Trying to get the Thunder, not finding it just yet. That was so cheeky. I really like that, but it was so <laughs> <Yeah>. cheeky. <laughs> yeah. and, but any means to combo into the Thunder like that, but... In the same vein, any means to set up one of those big down airs and Dill finding one to close out the stock, at, at least at that percent. But can they find another? Can she put together something here to cement this lead? Maybe not. That thunder was so beautifully placed. I'm so sneaky, too. Yeah. And it's perfect work for it for us. It's just like, oh, you're going off for a forward air. You're going off for a nair here. Surprise, here's the thunder when you're already so deep. Yeah, and the cloud comes out like frame one, right? Yeah. It's a, yeah. a frame two. Frame two. So yeah, now Dill having to play from so far behind right now while Mouse Rat continues to racking, rack up the percent, catching the jump once again, now making Dill kind of uncomfortable off stage where she is usually quite comfortable. Pivoting back and forth, but another rising Nair in order to try and set up for these platforms. And yet again, using the Thunder so well here. Mouse Rat just being, having it be a solid air-to-air -air answer amongst already the uh, the amount of threat range that Pikachu can cover thanks to things like Quick Attack. It's such a devious position. And speaking of Quick Attack, there it is into the back air and setting up once again on these platforms to try down. Oh, oh he got the spike it. hit, That's but so... not the thunder. It didn't get the full re B reverse, just got the turnaround. That is, it's not going to... It wouldn't close out the stock in that moment, but Mouse Rat's already in such a prominent position that they can be a little reckless. All right, but the, a string of down tilts now putting Mouse Rat off stage, but Dill gets caught by the quick attack and now has to find her way back onto stage herself. Great spacing there with the neutral air. See, Mouse Rat was trying to space himself around that to get a ledge traps scenario. Wow, and being in range with a quick attack to go straight on stage, catching Dill, just throwing out Nair after Nair, trying to use this rage and Pikachu's lightweight to her advantage. But I think, wait a minute, can we run that stock back? 
because it's a good spacing, of course, on the part of Mouse Wrap, but I think there was quite literally frames before getting hit by this neutral air. Let's take a gander. Okay, run that back. Run that back a little bit. So we've got an air coming out, one frame. Let's zoom in here. Boom, Pikachu boom. reeling oh back. Oh my god, like the, the squish. The squishy. He's so squished. <laughs> <laughs> vertical pancake. <laughs> Not the <laughs> vertical <laughs> pancake. Uh, literally but this week. Can we, can we talk about this? This is. Um, can we talk about. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear something? <laughs> what? I, I called that out and I forgot about it. Short Are we sure Rob is big? <laughs> Are we like, sure? Gyro's bigger. The gyro extends the hurt button. What? What? Uh, <laughs> th so I know that Pikachu's like forward smash. Huh? <laughs> like Pikachu's forward smash here, like it has bits hitboxes. Uh, we're, we're into the next one. But it like, it grows because the move like extends like bit by bit. But I'm, I thought it was aligned with its animation, but I guess not. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. Gyro makes things funky. It's one of those, those funny it's little things. One of those funny little things <laughs> <laughs> for items in Smash Ultimate can cause some pretty crazy interactions, all things considered. And Gyro's a pretty good one. So coming into small battlefield as uh, Dill's counter pick, what do you think about this as opposed to regular battlefield, which I feel like we see Dill go to quite often? So Ooh. the trick with regular Battlefield versus small Battlefield, and at least in the Pikachu matchup, is that Rob needs the space to neutral air and can manually find that space thanks to double having a really good double jump, B-reverse movement, and uh, burn, uh, the burner boost, uh, allowing you just to get as much vertical height as you need in order to throw out that neutral air. The top platform of Battlefield prevents that type of game plan, being defensive with Nair, and instead allows Pikachu to be even more flexible with their quick attacks. Remove that top platform, you have a much more neutral kind of stand, or a much more neutral that's in your favor when you're able to just throw out Nair in, much, in a more broad range of positions. So I think what Dill is looking for in her quest to take down this rat and doing a pretty good job of it right now, thanks to that early dare and all of that space. Yeah, and right now, uh, lapping Mouse Rat in percent, looking for another ledge trap, catching the down tilt, putting Mouse Rat in another scary position. All right, kind of committing early with the arm rotor and also uh, committing to going low as well, where Mouse Rat was ready with the down air. Yeah, that was such good option. Uh, such good option coverage there from Mouse Rat, being very flexible with their advantage state and taking advantage of Pikachu's uh, lack of uh, very slim amount of recovery on a lot of his moves and a lot of his offensive pressure. Gonna need to see something big here from Mouse Rat. Looking for down tilt early instead of something like a back air. Not trying to fish too hard, but you're going to get caught for it. There we go. Finally, Dill waiting out those quick attacks and finding the arm rotor. I think that's the first arm rotor kill that we've seen this set. Yeah. Uh, Master had been doing an excellent job of avoiding most of them, but unable to, find, uh, unable to avoid it. That one, really a checkmate situation for Dill, who's got her own lead to play with and trying to swing a lot more because of it. Lots of nares coming down, but this backer out of shield into the Ooh. drag downs, reverse up airs, but unable to get the second one. He was trying to get a uh, a much more flexible combo on that platform. Still, only 57. Yeah, but I mean, even though that was a stylish conversion That's from good. Mouse Rat. Up air is an insanely flexible move from Pikachu and will ever be, but while maybe not necessarily flexible, Rob's up air is also quite it's good. It's a pretty good move. It's pretty good, yeah. I would say. <laughs> Don't know about you. Let's check this out. Uh, we get to see the early lead established from Dill with that down air <gasps> on a jump get up. <laughs> it had to have been jump get up, right? Look how late that is, and it's still the spike hit box. Let's see one. We get to count the frames. One, two, three. Okay, well, we don't have to count the frames, yeah. but it's active for seven frames. Who did this? <laughs> Only soccer I know. All right, wait, wait, hold on. Um, well, we no, we can play this out. Get a full sense of the idea. You know where that stock was lost? Say, yeah, second, second stock, second stock. 
so we get to see this play out. Mouse Rat wants an opening here, has a position where it's a whiffed grab, but decides to down tilt. Now, down tilt is an incredibly safe poke. Pikachu's tail is often uh, disjointed just a little bit. So you get to throw out down tilt here, maybe you get a trip, maybe you get something started, off to the races. However, you lack the range and you lack the coverage. So once this down tilt whiffs off of the spot dodge from Rob, Dill was able to take that for such a country mile and, forf and Mouse Rat forfeited, forfeited their neutral entirely into a drop stock. A little long-winded to say, you gotta be very careful with your spacing against Rob because one false instance can mean a down tilt and a down tilt can mean a stock. Okay, not quite. Ooh. Mouse Rat still living, but Dill looking for another one of those spikes to get that same early lead like she got in game two. Yeah, we're running it back to Battlefield, having that extra space, having those having those extra platforms to be more dynamic with the movement. Mouse Rat looking to try and solidify that uh, and gain a lead because of it, but just isn't finding the openers that they did in game one. Still has short, has batted down the hatches and short up her defense. Yep, more great patience from Mouse Rat to not get caught by that down air once again. It's the grab on the platform, potentially looking for a thunder right now. Finds it and the stock as well. Thunder's a pretty good move. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a reason that uh, it was actually changed from Smash 4 to be a little bit more uh, the... Rather not changed, but it is harder to land the full... It's harder to combo into that full hitbox, uh, the thunder into the spark. Which is why it's so good to see Mouse Rat just take almost the Warrior Waft approach. Where it's like sometimes you can just do it. Sometimes yeah. you can throw it out and it will catch those high recoveries and it will catch those players thinking that they're safe. Very nice forward air answer though from Dill. Go looking for exactly that same thunder that they dropped the stock from in game one, punishing accordingly with Rob's extremely strong forward air. Yep. Now, Dill bringing us to even stocks, only 47% on Dill, so certainly not out of the realm of possibility, but Mouse Rat has been keeping this ledge pressure so well thus far, and Dill <laughs> trying to make her way to the other side, and Mouse Rat not letting her get away. Not in the slightest, that a uh, little bit of a whiff shield grab there in the corner, and taking the full stage. Dill not wanting to mess with, but that's where you have to contest with Quick Attack. One, you got one. You got yeah. one. <laughs> I like Dill has. I like how Dill has been answering Thunder Jolts because that was an aggressive T Jolt from Mouse Rat. It ate, uh, Mouse Rat ate a laser, turned into a dash attack, turned into a full combo, and in that same vein, are you, if you're gonna try and get aggressive off ledge, you have to contest with Gyro. And Mouse Rat losing a little bit of respect for it, and it costed him two whole stocks. Absolutely, you, you have to respect that Gyro. All right, not able to get the explosion hitbox of the Thunder. Dill has another lease on life and trying to make the most of it. Now getting 38% extra credit. How stocks can change. Looking for the, uh, the Thunder Drill into the dash attack. Stock not dropping just yet, but you do get a chance of an edge guard here. Basically any move down there will Ooh. do it. Looking for the forward smash though. I like the idea from Mouse Rat, but they're still unable to close down the stock. This is, we're in real dash attack percents because on Battlefield, up throw is not gonna do it for a while. The micro spacing from Dill right there, just the tiniest fade back to stay out of range of that forward air. Now getting Mouse Rat to 83%. Mouse Rat really trying to find this stock. Yeah, just Dill. staying cemented. It's good to play grounded here. Especially with Dill very low on gas. Haven't landed. Oh, but the Nair comes down. I think they were trying to parry it, and Ergo, for all of that gas coming straight back. Dill having full control of the game here, and she knows it. <laughs> yep, up throw, not, not quite on yet. <laughs> Rob's, Rob's heavy. Heavy body. You need to get him to about 180 for that to kill, but the uh, for that to close out the stock, rather, and the. Uh, the forward air will do just that, though. Yep, but now Mouse Rat, even though bringing things to even stocks, has to contend with Dill at the ledge, but now actually putting Dill at the ledge himself. I'm going to see if Mouse Rat can really make the most of this uh, this possessioning. Yeah, I mean, you have you have a pretty good advantage state here. You called, oh, the overshoot was there, but Mouse Rat wasn't able to take full advantage of it. Haven't been able to find something like a back air quite yet. Looking for it there, though. It's even. 
happen. <laughs> Things are getting dangerous. <laughs> Things are getting very, very close. The Sledge Trap going for the Pikachu Classic of a Rising Fair into a Falling Nair, but Dill just so good at understanding the situations that she's in and getting out of there when she knows she's in danger. The flight or flight from Dill is unmatched in this game three. Ooh, trying to just wall mouse rat out with these Rob neutral airs, but not finding any that connect. Now getting Dill to 79%. The momentum feels completely in Mouse Rat's favor right now. An up throw on this platform could do Oh, the up smash was there, but it was too slow. Dill just having such a hard time hitting Pikachu in so many of these Ooh. ways, but another miss on the Thunder gives Dill another chance to hold down center stage, to hold down this position time and time again. Can she close it out? She can't. Mouse Rat gets back to center, and we're back to neutral. Gyro is there, though. And it's doing a good job of it, of just being right there and preventing that dash attack. Mouse Rat, well, the there it is. would have done it, but the neutral air is going to be the thing that takes it. Dill taking it over Mouse Rat in the closest to one. Oh my god, my heart rate. <laughs> oh, that was so close. And it's the Pikachu Classic. You think being light is a weakness? I mean, technically it is, but it's not really when you can't find reliable ways to hit the opponent. And that's where Dill was having so much trouble. Was like, where do I get this Nair? Where do I get my raw hit kills? Pikachu's really hard to grab. Such a great conversion there on the second stock and such a well-played game from both sides. Just Dill able to throw out that big hitbox one too many, uh, one time enough to close it out while Mouse Rat I believe this was another aggressive. Yeah, it was. It was mm -hmm. another aggressive quick attack, trying to make his trying to make that reversal and take advantage back artificially.